Hi everyone, Paul Ice now. Welcome to the inbox review. So today it's finally here. B Max's Audi Quattro S1 at last. There we go, at last it's here. I've been waiting for this kit for a long time. Ever since it was first announced earlier in the year, um, I've been eagerly waiting. It's one of my favourite all-time cars, my favourite Group B rally car. and uh, Just so happy to have it. Um, it's not Alpha General release just yet. Uh, myself and Sam um, got this from Hobby Easy in Hong Kong. Um, Sam, Sam ordered them on Friday and they were with them by Monday. Really good service. And Sam posted it out to me. So absolutely superb. Um, I've also got the detail upset on the way. I don't have it right now. Um, but basically, that is the detail upset. So it is two frets of P, the antenna, and the seatbelt material. So not a lot to write home about. You also get their proper HB tobacco decals that are missing out the kit. They are there, but they're not the true decals. So they're included in the detail upset, and you can buy them aftermarket as well. So, as I say, absolutely awesome. That is a brilliant box art, absolutely beautiful. Absolutely stunning. On the side, we've got a side profile and the paint required. And on the other side, the front and rear with that iconic um, spotlight front end. Absolutely awesome. So happy to have this. Went with this for a long, long time. So they are due out in general release in the UK. I'm not sure the price of the UK. These are £25 from Hobby King, Hobby King, uh, Hobby Easy with about £8 delivery. Um, so fairly good price. No import charges at all. Probably just down to sheer luck. Um, hopefully we get in the UK because I want to grab at least two more of these because there's a few other decal schemes out there. But for me, that iconic HB yellow Audi livery is superb. I do prefer the normal bodywork um, compared to the wide arch one. I've got that in a resin kit, um, but just so happy to have a plastic kit of this. It's superb. So let's dive into the review and have a look and see what it looks like. Right, so there we go. As I was saying, truly iconic looking car. Absolutely superb. Box art is absolutely fantastic. And I guarantee you, that is going on my wall uh, once I'm done. Because, as I say, I love this car. Uh, there's a side profile of it. The wide arch one is just mental. And there's the front and rear side profile, uh, front and rear profiles as well. Epic looking car and an epic machine as well. There's the detail upset. So... Just a couple of frets of PE for all your brake discs, the grills, etc. It's quite a you know a good PE set. The antenna and the seatbelt set as well, and of course the HB decals are in there too. So worthy addition. So they haven't got it, like I say, but I will show up my next bench update uh, afterwards. Um, colours required are all there. If you want to pause it, get all your colours required, and away you go. So absolutely stunning. Oh, pardon me, that was the box, not me. <laughs> Honest. Um, so inside we've got the body, which oh, just looks stunning. Got the clear parts. We've got a two, three, four, five, six, seven sprues, including the wheels. So not a massive amount. Well, we've got some crinkly bags again. I do apologise, but hey, it's just the way it is. We've got the decals, the instructions, and the colour call out. Now, I'm going to admit, I have looked through this kit. I could not help myself. I love this thing, and the first thing I did was open the box and have a look through. So you'll have to excuse me for cheating a little bit. So let's start with the body shell itself. I'll try and keep the crinkling down to a bare minimum. So the body shell, let's have a look. I'll have a cursory glance around. Right, we've got some bit of flash on there, it's a shame. Other than that, it looks to be pretty clean. Some of the moulding is a little bit soft, but I've noticed that with a few of the BMX. Let's move my camera down. I'm going to come in a little bit so you have a look. So we've got a bit of flash at the top here. And when I say a bit, it's quite a bit. Um, but it's a seam line anyway, so it would have needed removing, but there's still no real excuse for it at all. Um, so a little bit of a shame. But other than that, it doesn't look all that bad it's a good looking car it really is it's a great looking body the wide arch is there like i said a bit of flash along the top here and here 
but he's removable and it is a scene that's there anyway. These need removing, obviously, and cleaning up. Um, if you're adding the vent in that, you have to be careful of your instructions. But other than that, it looks pretty clean. Um, yeah, like I said, just a few bits of flash. Some of the details are a little bit soft in places, but on the whole, it doesn't look too bad. Um, such an aggressive looking car. It really is. So yeah, a little bit of clean up. Um, and it's not going to be too bad at all, really. A little bit of a shame about that, but like I say, just going to need to run over with a sander. Whether that will improve on later kits, we shall see. I don't know. Or if anybody else has got one, have a look through your kit and let me know if there's any flash on the body. But other than that, the body looks really, really good. Really clean. Um, let's start with this spruce. This is interior parts, uh, skid plates, and a bit of running gear, grills, so on and so forth. So, like I say, we've got that infamous Audi grill. Let's zoom out a tad. With the four rings, we've got the transmission, the four-wheel drive transmission, all as one. The bucket seats, quite nice. Gear linkage, under tray protection, the front grill, more grills. Grills, these are going to be replaced by the PE if you do them, but they're not too bad at all. The details there, same on the back as well, but they're going to look better with a proper PE set on board as well. But the detail's good, not too bad at all. Transmission detail's good, we've got some air duct in there. The seats aren't bad at all. They don't look too bad. I'm going to focus. If not, down there will do. <laughs> um, but yeah, they look good. These are nice and clean. Yeah, there's no hint of flash on these at all. Nicely cleanly moulded, all the grills are nicely moulded. And overall, it looks pretty good. Not bad at all. Um, we'll go with this one, just got the main chassis on. Let's have a look. So, yeah, you got two reviews off of this week, that's a rarity. Um, and to be honest, with me getting ready for Telford, I haven't really got the time to do this, but it just needs doing. I did a bench update today, that's one the other day, and uh, this one. So, you've had three videos off me this week, which is a rarity. But this just needed reviewing. So we've got the chassis under tray there. A little bit of detail built underneath. Not a massive amount. We've got the interior, again, with some wiring, hoses, detail incorporated in there. Other than that, it's pretty plain. We've got our brake discs. Drill discs, nice and uh, nicely detailed. Exhaust, suspension struts, part of our dashboard by the look of it. Our exhaust system itself. Very good, so part of the transmission, other discs as well that you cross drilled, subframe, um, swing, uh, swing arms, suspension arms and what have you, anti roll bar, all incorporated in one, and again, they're nice and clean parts, um, there's no flash, unfortunately you're black on black here boys and girls, I'm sorry, uh, not much you can do, dashboard is very nicely detailed, as is the steering wheel, that's got a very cool detailed up. Door cards are there, and yeah, pretty clean sprue, no problems on there. Those discs kind of look good. Now, you could drill these out if you wanted. To be honest, put a wash in them, I think they look better. Um, you can see the detail better rather than drill them. I think on bikes they're worth drilling, on cars they're not. I think they look better with a washing. Um, it shows the detail better through the wheels, that's my opinion anyway. But yeah, no problems there at all. All nice and clean, crisply moulded, a lot sharper on this than the body. Um, so whether it's a type of plastic, I don't know, I doubt it. It's just a, a thought. But yeah, no bother there at all. Really, really cool. Um, let's go with this one next. So in here we've got the roll cage, our spare wheel. It's like a puzzle these, there we go. So we've got our roll cage. Which is there. Again, bits of flash here and there, but not too bad. It'd be easy to clean off. So you can see wisps of flash, our spare wheels there as well. Very nice. We've got our foot pedals, the antenna, which is way over scale, massively over scale. So much better with the kit supply one, it really, really is. Uh, we've also got 
basically yeah, roll cage, spare wheel, bit of flash on the spare wheel as well. That's a real shame to see on a new kit, it really is. Shouldn't have flash at all. Whether these these are some of the first releases, whether they've been rushed, I don't know. At the end of the day, it can be sanded off, but at the end of the day, it shouldn't be there at all, uh, if we're completely honest. Uh, not in this day and age, but it's just one of those. And this kit, to be honest, could be covered in dog poo, and I'd still be made up. Uh, it's just one of those. Um, <laughs> it really is. Um, but yeah, a little bit of flash here and there, but other than that, no, it looks all right. It really does. Uh, you've got rear spoiler and what look to be the side vents, wing mirrors, so on and so forth. And again, a little bit of flash here and there, a little bit flashy on the top of the spoiler there. A little bit down the side. Yeah, it's, it's a shame. Um, I, I've got a feeling, have these been rushed out? Don't know. Possibly. Um, but it's it's a run over of a sander. It's not the end of the world. It's not like it's massive sink marks or there's bits missing. It's just a little bit of flash. And whilst it shouldn't be there, and whilst that is annoying, it's just one of those things. Um, but then that looks all right. The iconic spoilers there, the boot lid, um, and those vents. The vents don't look bad if you to keep them. I don't use the detail upset. There's plenty of detail in there. Get a wash in there, and they're really going to show. But they're not going to beat the photo etch. It's going to look a lot more realistic. It really is. So, not bad at all. It's going to be a fairly quick build. This is not a massive amount of parts. Um, so, yeah, I don't think they're going to be too bad at all. The rims, very, very nice. So, they're clean. There's no flash on those at all. They're very, very nice clean rims. And we all like a clean rim, don't we? Um, but, yeah, no problem there. Nicely depicted, five-star wheels. We got a difference between the front and rears. Are they wider? Any difference? Doesn't appear so. Look to be identical all the way around. Have we got brake coolers on this? I haven't even noticed. Um, but yeah, no problem there at all. The wheels are really nice. They're going to look great. Really, really superb. Uh, chrome parts. Let's have a look what we've got here. So we've got our spotlights and what look to be rear lights as well. Let's have a little look. So. Yeah, we've got a spotlight background. They look like rear lights, and there's our headlights there as well. And again, for lights, the chrome, no problem at all. More than adequate. Doesn't need stripping. I don't think even on the other side of that. No, the chrome's really nice, actually. Yeah, not too OTT. It's nice and deep. It's fairly crisp. Not too bad at all. So they're fine to keep. No problem at all. So that saves a little bit of time as well. So they're great. And our clear parts, which... Uh, there's plenty of, and um, what I like about BMAX kits is they go from the exterior in. Um, as long as they fit, <laughs> um, they're fine. Let's see what they're like here. So we've got our rally side slotted vented windows. Let's zoom out a little bit. There we go, we've got a front rear screen. Which again, are really nice and clear, just like those plat ones were. If I, if you look at this one, and I bring it up off my mat, you see there's not a massive amount, I'm like a foot off the bench now, and there's not a huge amount of distortion there at all. It's a nice clear part, it's really good. Side windows have got the uh, rally style uh, windows built into them, which is really good. Very nice, it's got indicators, headlights, or spotlight covers, rear lights, and these, I wonder what these were at first, they're actually for the front, uh, arches, they're actually the side parts of them that are painted black. Uh, why they decided to do them in clear, I have no idea, but there they are anyway. And again, no problem there at all. Nice clean plastic, a lot of locator points again, which is a bit of a pain, uh, but just some careful trimming and sanding and you'll be fine. We've even got our metal brackets already built into the plastic there as well. So they'll be painted up uh, in a metal color on the real car. And yeah, no problem at all. Really nice clear parts. So yeah, top marks there for those. So it kind of forgives them for the flash a little bit, I guess. Just gonna pop these away if you know me. I always put the clear parts back away. Because if anything's gonna get damaged, it's those and decals. So there's those. Uh, last baggie we've got is the wheels, polycaps, and mesh. Not wheels, sorry, tires now. <laughs> 
On the last BMAS kit, the um, Porsche, uh, I had terrible tyres with massive chunks out of them. And I contacted BMAX and they were useless. Yes, we'll replace the wet tyres if you pay the postage. So I've just paid nearly 40 quid for a kit and I've got to pay postage because you supplied me with inferior parts. And uh, no, no thanks. I replied back and they never got back to me. So thanks a lot. I love your kits, BMAX, but your customer service absolutely stinks. So these tyres look around. We're going to seam around the middle as usual. Quite a lot of flash on the inside. But to be honest, push the wheel from that side forward and it's going to vanish or run a little knife inside and that's going to be gone. They look to be four, five identicals. They are, they're identical. A little bit of a sink mark in the bottom, so make sure you put that on the bottom out of the way. Uh, and other than that, the tyres, no, they won't be much of a drama at all. Got the poly caps, as with most of our kits nowadays. Five of them, yeah, spare one. Um, so that's the whole stud assembly for the wheels and mesh now this is really nice mesh better than the tammy stuff you normally get a little bit wider apart a lot more better quality really good um, i'd like to find some of the sellers this stuff actually it'd be quite handy i'll have to have a look i've never even thought of looking really um but yeah no problem there also again another part no drama now we'll have a look at the color call out first and then we'll go to the decals so there you go full color call out which is fantastic so, shows the decal placement. Basically, the car's gonna be white. Um, you could paint the yellow, should you wish. I have the yellow paint from Zero Paints up there, uh, and the white paint for it too. Um, but there is a demarcation at the bottom of the decal where it gradiates to the white, and some of the decals are built in to the decal itself. So, I think, to be honest, I'll probably try and use the kit decals if I can and see how they go but nice clear call outs absolutely brilliant really nice color call outs makes all the difference and this thing's going to look absolutely amazing now as you can see and you see the decals in a minute the hb logo isn't fully there um it's been cut off for legal reasons and you will get the replacement one with the detail upset so like i say it is worth doing if you don't want to buy the detail upset you can buy the hb decals separately and just put them on as and when you need it but yeah, nice colour call out. Really makes all the difference. Now the decals, we've got two sheets. And there's some metal decal transfer thingy revolves in here for the mirrors too, by the look of it. So let's have a little look you see. So two sets of decals. Now if they're typical BMAX decals, I've used them before and they went down okay. Um, they look okay, I think. Not bad at all. Got a bit of strange markings here and there on the yellow, but it shouldn't be a problem. Um, they're a bit thick. You're going to let your, have to let your decal solution take its time to get them to work. But from my own experience, they went down quite well. Not too bad at all. So everything's there. You've got the full yellow. It is graduated or graduated into the white. So if you're going to paint it, you have to do something about that. And with the likes of these, the decal is built in to it. So you're going to have to take that into account if you're going to try and paint it but to be honest i think the decals i'll use the decals and see how they go but nothing wrong with those there's no manufacturer on them um but they like the um, bmw rally uh, bastos ones they went down no bother at all they were huge absolutely massive so hopefully they will be trouble free and then we've got the actual sponsorship markings too and you can see about the hb the actual hb logo is missing uh, for legal reasons, but it's just one of those. The rest of the decals look good. Um, you've got your window surrounds are there as well. If you don't want to mask off and paint them, and I'm sure there will be mask sets available very soon, you can use the decals to go around the windows instead. And I might try it on this. I've never done it before. Uh, and I might give it a go. We've got seatbelts there as well, and all the rest of the sponsorship markings are all on there. And again, they look good. Um, there's no damage to them. They look pretty good quality. And again, I'm sure we're going to see some aftermarket ones out there. In fact, I think there is sets out there already uh, available for the kits. So, yeah, it might be worth having a look around. But, like I say, these should go down okay. And there's plenty of them. It's going to keep you busy, this scheme. Um, definitely a bit of a technical one, but worth it in the end because it's going to look absolutely fantastic. So, I'm just going to pop these away, as I always do. I don't like keeping decals out. And in the back, we've also got... Our metal decals for the iconic Audi rings. There we go. So, a proper metal decal for the front 
grille and your wing mirror insert too already in there included so that's a nice little touch as well what did i do with that bag there it is sticky bags are great for putting stuff back in except the sticky bar grabs everything as you put it back in so a bit of a double-edged saw but as you know i always put my stuff back in to keep them safe and out of the way and always put your paper on top as well to save any damp getting to the decals so there we go last thing we go through is the instruction book looking good so far very very happy how this is looking so i'm going to zoom right out and we'll have a look through this so iconic picture on the front again a bit of an introduction there we've got some info about the actual vehicle if you want to read that you can have a little pause and have a little read I'm not reading all because there's actually quite a lot of info there so it's a lot to go through obviously bmax is a division of aoshima First one, first page is information about assembling the product, all stuff we should know anyway. You've got the colour call cool ads there as well, in Mr. Colour uh, and Aqueous Colour as well. Um, we've got how to apply your decals and the explanation of all the legends at the bottom there as well. Step one, we've got paint and butt instruction for the body. Um, a bit confusing at times these because it's saying black, which I'm assuming it's pointing to the window rubbers, and then a mixture of P1 and P92, so H1, uh, Mr. Color 92, which is semi gloss black and white. Right, okay. There's times to paint the body white. I'm assuming the window's black. I don't know. They're a little bit confusing at times, but it's there. It's obviously, it's in Japanese, so we can't read it. Um, but that's what I'm assuming. Same. Start off with transmission. So we've got the four-wheel drive transmission there. The exhaust is built into that. The, the struts for the suspension as well. Nicely, clearly marked where it's not glued, which is always a good touch. You've got uh, aftermarket parts here as well, I assume. Hang on, let's have a look. A and B. Are we mixing colours? We're mixing colours there. Yes, yeah, so you've got an A and B colours telling you to mix the colours there. Um, we've got all the P's. So what I said about the plastic kit the other day, when the P's call for, it's in a separate box. It makes it nice and clear to see. I really do like that. So for the Italian eyes, replace the plastic part with those. So there's the legend for that. And assembly looks pretty straightforward. It's, it's there for not gluing. There's a no glue sign, so that's not bad at all. Fairly clear. Again, onto the wheels, discs, under trays. And then onto the interior, and again, any aftermarket is called out for, so you're going to get the discs in the aftermarket set, straps for the fire extinguisher, and the detail upset will have the seat belts as well. So all clearly called out. Any colours are required are there, any decals are required are also there. And this is why I like these de these instructions. That's what I was saying about the plat kit the other day. They just need to add this because rather than having two sets of decal uh, instructions out, you've just got the one that you can see nice and clear so we've got seatbelt assembly which yeah do that or follow my guide on the subaru build it's a lot easier trust me uh roll cage assembly uh the mirror so on and so forth dashboard assembly nice and straightforward and again get the roll cage in air duct vents get the spare wheel in nice and simple uh moving on to the exterior of the bodywork getting the grill in all the extra peas there as well and that's going to look a lot better as well as uh the mesh inside and we've got the true to life call outs for the mesh there as well but obviously you've got the detail upset you get it in there too that means i got a bit of spare mesh excellent gonna cut off all those little rivet marks on the front not sure why but we have and then we're on to um, the glass work. So glass works there. Uh, you got the PE. Huh, cut that off the glass. Uh, no spank you. Uh, I ain't touching that glass work like that. That can stay like that. I'd rather paint it, to be honest. But there, if you want to do it, and fair play if you do. We've got the metal rally plates to well to go on, and those rally, uh, those Audi rings to go on the front grill as well nice and clear all the way through all the decals for the windows are there as well like i said i've never done that before but i think i'll give it a whirl on this one and we'll see how it goes onto the spotlights as you can see we've got those nice chrome parts for the back in um we must have headlight covers as well i think those black parts that were in there must be like headlight covers too or are they clear parts no, there must be covers. It must come with covers for the spotlights as well. It's a nice little touch. And they have decals on there too, by the look of it. Pretty cool. Okay, whether you can take those on and off, I don't know. Maybe you can, maybe you can't. We'll see. There's some surgery required there. I'm not sure what that thing's up to. 
the stuff that needs cutting off, we'll figure that out. Rear tail lights, we've got the rear vents um, at the back, which can be replaced with the metal ones as well. Well worth doing. Prominent part of the car there at the back. So well worth making it look good. Onto the spoiler, again, you're gonna get metal parts for the spoiler in the aftermarket set. Um, so well worth paying attention. And that antenna is gonna look infinitely better than that way of a scale one that comes in the kit itself. Window wipers on, wing mirrors, you've got the PE window wipers. Oh, I've tried those before. I'll give them a go again on this. We'll see how they look. Bonnet pins, supports for the spotlight. That's quite nice. So the support to the front of the uh, bonnet. And again, the grill, uh, sorry, that'll be the radiator and cooler uh, part as well. And we also get mud flaps in the detail upset as well, which is quite a nice touch. Really good. Oh, there we go. We got through that one quick. Um, all the parts list is on the back, as you can see, and obviously some future releases, including the Epic Lancia Delta S4, another Group B legend, uh, which should be coming out. Um, I'm not sure when that one's planned to come out, to be honest, but they're pretty quick, BMAX, they don't hang around, so hopefully we see that early on next year, and again, oh, can't wait to get it. The Martini scheme, it's awesome, and you will get a review of that straight away. So there we go. So there we go, what can I say? It looks absolutely fantastic. I'm so happy to have a plastic kit to this. Um, and I cannot wait to make it. And as I said, this is bumping right up the build queue. I'm sorry, the M6 plat is getting put to one side. I haven't started it yet. And I'm building this thing now, straight away. I'm going to start it as soon as I come back from Telford. So Monday, Tuesday, next week, we're making a start. And hopefully a week later, it'll be finished. And I really can't wait. Absolutely superb. Uh, we've got other kits coming from, we've got the S4 uh, Delta, uh, the 6R4 from Bell Kits uh, has been announced as well, uh, 306 has been announced, so we've got loads of Group B and normal rally cars being released by these companies now and it's fantastic to see. Uh, all we need now is a 206 uh, T16, um, and that pretty much covers it really I think, um, I think we've got them all covered there, so yeah, very very happy with that. And I cannot wait to start it. Sadly, Telford's got in the way. And I could start it, but I've got loads to do. Uh, far too busy to be building models at the minute. Um, so, yeah, it's going to have to wait till next week. But at least I've got something nice to start and to come back next week. It looks epic. It really, really does. And like I say, there's about three or four other schemes that have been announced. Uh, Pikes Peak, uh, Blood Punk Scheme, and a couple of others, which I forget now off the top of my head. So, you know, there's the provision to build other ones as well. Like I say, if you are going to build the true car, you're going to need the detail set or some aftermarket HP tobacco decals. They're not included with the kit because it is illegal to advertise tobacco. So that's why it's not propaganda or all this malarkey. It's just the way it is. It's illegal to display. So yeah, well worth the extra money for the detail upset for the belts and what have you. So, really worth having. Shame to have it now, the detail upset, but it's basically going to be two frets of PE, the antenna, the seatbelt material, and the decals as well. I'll cover that in my next bench update and show you what that looks like um, so you can see it. But I just want to get this kit reviewed because I've been waiting for it for so long and I'm very, very happy to get it. So, there we go. So don't forget to be at Telford this weekend. Pop on over to the stand. We're in Hall 1. Um, go over to UMP Stand or some other products. Say hello. Uh, as always, check out the Cisco Model Facebook page and forum. Check out the Hangout Modeling Group for the off air hangouts, the Paul ISM Facebook page, the Live at the Bench page as well. Um, we've got umpretail.com, of course, myself and Lee's business. Uh, Paul uh, underscore ISM on Instagram. International Scale Models now on Instagram. UMPs on Instagram as well. And check out Models for Heroes. My Subaru auction still going. It runs till next Monday. Uh, all the proceeds go towards uh, Models for Heroes. And of course, we're doing a raffle on the weekend as well for Models for Heroes. Myself and Lee have donated the UP Apex Airbrush. And all the proceeds for that go to Models for Heroes as well. If you want to buy a raffle ticket, you can only buy them at the show. That's the rules for raffles, unfortunately. Otherwise, it's classed as gambling. Um, you can come to the show, 16 plus, buy as many raffle tickets as you want, and we draw it on Sunday. I think we agreed on 2 p.m. on the Sunday. We'll have all your contact details if you're not there, but if you want to come over to the stand or a pound of ticket, um, contribute to this amazing charity. And there we are. So happy to read this kit. Hope you enjoyed the review. I didn't waffle on too long, and uh, I'll catch you next time. So take care. Bye bye.